Hey, good morning, folks. Welcome to your canal channel. It's a channel about life in Canada, about travel. And this is the still district around me, and you know I live around here. And today is going to be apartment hunting log, guys. Welcome to your commuter car. This vehicle must be brought back to its station at the end of the reserve break. So yeah, friends, I've got some vehicle for today. It's just some rental car, uh, and I would advise you to do the same. Uh, in this way, you will have some kind of advantage, you know, guys, because you can you can take a look at more apartment in one day, and to be like more productive, guys. So yeah, you know, guys, I've been living in the uh, district neighborhood like for almost a year, guys. Yeah, and I should say it's awesome place to live, especially for the first year. It's just awesome place, just wonderful. You don't need any car. You can just um, take some bus, street car, or any any way, like any time, and. You, you should be okay as long as you don't have any car for the first year. But yeah, the price now it was uh, twenty-two hundred uh, dollars. Uh, as long as this building it was some kind of building, it was uh, this condo it was under construction, and I didn't have like some barbecue, some gym, so I didn't have all these advantages. And about three months ago, I just got this stuff, and yeah, guys, now I have this one and all this stuff like theater, like uh, cin cinema room, yes, uh, some hobby room, some gym, all this stuff. But the price now is going to be twenty five hundred, and this is uh, this is pretty much expensive for us. We we can we can we can afford it actually, guys. But it's just one bedroom, one den apartment. It's pretty small for my family, and we expect to have uh, here my mother-in-law. So it, it looks like we need some some bigger space. So yeah, that's why we decided to go ahead and just take a look to another one. But in Canada, in Ontario especially, it's extremely hard to find some apartment. Like you you know, like uh, for me today, I've got like two appointment uh, two appointments for one day. But before I, I lost like a bunch of appointments. Just every time, it's extremely huge competition, and just my relative called me and saying like, "Hey, it's uh, yeah, we lose we lose this option because like I've got about three offers already, and that's why it's extremely hard to find something. Uh, the average price like about three um, three thousand, so it's uh, yeah, it's it's expensive to live here in Ontario in Toronto. Just yeah, take into account this if you want to live here. So yeah, just guys, I do not want. I don't want to get this video pretty long, so yeah, let's let's hunt with me. I don't know if it's going to be a success for me this day, but yeah, I, I need to take a look for this apartment. And with, with this vehicle, it should be much easier for me to do, yes, to handle. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching this one. All right, friends, this is uh, uh, the condo where I'm staying right now. Around me, you can see pretty nice place, by the way. And I will uh, take some apartment tour, and probably you already can find in my channel some information about this one and yeah it's time to hunting and it's going to be the first one option the price is about 2700 and it's still midtown so yeah all right friends uh, yeah i'm gonna finish this uh, first day is hunting my apartment was in my new apartment sorry guys didn't make any video today because it was some kind of raining outside and we were rushing every time because it's like we didn't have we, we got like only one hour to take a look for two actually apartments and every time I, i've been speaking with my realtor was asking some questions you know how it's gonna work and what is kind of options what we can get so yeah it, it actually it wasn't like extremely good time to make it some vlogging but yeah what i'm gonna do don't worry guys i i i'm gonna use some kind of pictures and you will see in here in this video and you will understand actually what you can get for some kind of money yes this first option is it was about 2600 as i said it was condo apartment and some kind of gym uh, the water included by the way and gym inside underground parking one parking one locker and 2600 by the way price actually uh, actually it's a good it's a good price you know guys it's a good spice, but it wasn't Midtown, as I said before, it was North North York, and uh, both this option, actually, it was uh, both uh, North York, you know, guys. The second one, so yeah, this, let's say a couple of words about this first one, it was uh, affordable price, it's a good option, yeah, some kind of advantage, but this place, you know, guys, this neighborhood around this place, I felt it like 
I don't know, like not good place to live, you know, guys. Some kind of like, I don't know, like cheap, cheap place to live, something like this. I don't know, like it, all it was like gray. I don't know, it's all these gray colors. No, I, f I don't. I didn't feel good because it's some kind of problem after downtown. Actually, it's hard to find some good place because in downtown here, it's just awesome place, awesome guys, and it's hard to find something similar uh, like this, you know, guys. And that's why yeah, it's some kind of difficult to go from downtown to move from downtown anywhere. By the way, yeah, because to live in here is just awesome, but price crazy. So yeah, this this was. It wasn't good for me. Definitely we decided like not it's not good. It was Walmart around here and some kind of metro, Walmart. Yeah, it's it's good some kind of school. By the way, in North York, I we found and we were surprised by the way, guys. In this place extremely good score for school. If you if you have some kids, it actually should be uh, some kind of advantage for you. So yeah, guys, pay attention. Schools just awesome. In my place bad like about three point in north york it's about nine point so it's even it's almost ma uh, like maximum you know it's like 10 uh, maximum is 10 here in ontario so yeah another another option it was some kind of townhouse and finch finch station finch subway station i believe it was like for the first time there in this in those uh, neighborhood and it was guys awesome 300, uh, 3000, so yeah, it's a 300. And but it was townhouse, it also was two bedroom as previous one, two bedroom. But by the way, previous one, it was pretty small, it, it felt like re really small. But the second one, it was awesome. The first one, it was about six, um, 60, 100, 70, 100 square feet, and the last one, it's about it was about. 900 square feet or even 1000 square feet so it was pretty huge this living room was just awesome so huge and living room was just awesome so wide guys awesome amazing kitchen two bedroom on second floor uh i should mention here you will get like in here some some people should believe uh, under you you know guys some kind of base basement i don't know so yeah, you should be like quiet on your living room, especially if you have some kids, you should be pretty quiet because you you can get some kind of problem with your neighbor, you, you know, guys. Yeah, it was 3300, it's expensive, it's only two bedroom, but and it was only one bathroom, you know, guys. Uh, some one, pla one place where you can take a shower, yeah, but two washrooms, yeah, so it's like some kind of options. And and yeah, so yeah, guys, uh, like, uh, as I said, it was first day. I don't believe we're going to get something in one day, just it's uh, hard to measure. But before it was like exactly this case, before we found this uh, place in distillery, like with my, with, with our first try, it was first apartment. We decided like, yeah, it's okay. And yeah, we just made the decision and we've got this one. So now I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to make some offer today immediately because I saw some kind of people before us in this apartment this uh, second one this townhouse so I, I am going to be fast I'm going to make offer I got my documents ready all my credit score or my uh, employment letter from my uh, from my job so some kind of information about my employment how how much I'm making money per year yet because it's extremely important uh, the owner we're looking for for the best the highest salary because uh the owner want to get like he, he want to make sure you you will able to pay actually for your uh, for your property yes guys so yeah that's important and be ready before you're going to take a look at your uh, apartment be ready before just get it done this all these documents and exactly now i'm just going to park this car here There's some kind of rental car yes uh, and immediately I'm going to make this offer. I'm going to send all this document to my realtor and we'll see. Because sometimes it's not like easy, but I'm going to make like only one offer. It, that's how it's working in Canada. I can't make like a bunch, a bunch of offers, you know, guys. I can make only one and I, I can go with only one offer. And the owner, if the owner going to decline our offer, so we, we, will, we, should, we should find another one. But 
for now I'm going to make this offer and I will block this, this one. I should wait about, I believe, I believe one day. And yeah, if it's okay, we can go with this one. If it's not, it will be declined. I don't know. We, we, knew, we are new in Canada and I just started building my credit score. So far it's good credit score before almost one year, but it's hard to build like from scratch, you know, guys. If you're newcomer, you will get like horrible credit score, even if you're making a bunch of money here. Because it should take some time to get an uh, excellent credit score. A bunch of rental asking about excellent credit score, not like good, you know, guys. So yeah, I believe, um, I don't know if it's going to be a, a couple of videos or only this one, I don't know, so we'll see. Thank you for watching this one, by the way, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, I'm going to make a bunch more video about this one, about li living in Canada, about travel, adventure about exploring gta so yeah guys thank you for watching this one stay tuned guys peace